What does music and everything like that mean to you personally? Uh, music is very big. It's, it's the thing that I listen to every day, and it pretty much like revolves around everything that I do. I have to listen to music. Right, right. And then, you know, so, so you're talking about being from Chicago and everything like that, but the chants and common and everything. Uh, you know, just who, who have you been listening to lately? This past week, who had the best rap album? My opinion, best rap album is like two people. Yeah. It's Rhapsody's yeah. Eve album. Yeah. That's very, very good. Right. And the other one for my, it's like I'm a fan of Freddie Gibbs, Madlib mm. Project. Mm. Well, what about Cordae? You, did you listen to Cordae this summer? Or no, why, why be in Cordae? He's yeah. a young kid from. Oh yeah, he had, yeah. He has a song with Anderson Pack, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah Anderson yeah. Pack. Very and, lyrical, and chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very lyrical. Yeah, I, I know him. And, and you know, you were talking about uh, last year, uh, that your Mac Miller story, uh, yeah. how you don't even take pictures with, with celebrities when you meet them, but with Mac, you had to get a picture with him. What exactly is the Mac Miller story? So, I was in LA, and I really don't go to LA. It's not a place that I like to go out more, more, more to the Bay because a lot of my family stays there. So me and my guys go and they do their thing. I'm staying in the hotel, I'm staying in Santa Monica. And they said, hey, like, we're going to the concert. We're going to the J. Cole concert. I think that's what we went to. So it was at Staples Center. And I was like, all right, y'all do y'all thing. But then, like, it was 10 minutes after the concert, they went backstage where VIP goes. They say, hey, Mac Miller's here. And I'm a huge Mac Miller fan. So I get, I get to where I'm at. I drive 30 minutes to go to Staples, get into the arena, get backstage, and I meet him. Like, I really tell him. It took, I'm not a prideful guy, so it didn't take take much to show him my support. So I was like, you know, Mac, like, you know, I really love your music. I really rock with you, and you're an amazing dude. And he was like, man, that's what's up. Like, <laughs> man, I didn't know, like, you know, NBA players listen to my music. <laughs> so right after that, I think he got a hundred dollars from one of his one of his co-workers or partners, whatever. Yeah. Because it was a bet that say NBA dudes don't rock with me. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So I think they like exchange and yeah. said, I told you. you know? yeah. So afterwards we got a picture or whatever. And then to hear the news a week or two later was really unfortunate. You know, people like gave their assessment trying to say lies that he was unhappy and committed suicide, but that was far from true. Because he was just rocking, he was doing his thing. And, you know, that was just a tragedy. He, he was in a good place when I, when I met him for the first time. And you know, being in Atlanta, obviously over the past few years, I don't know if you've heard, but it's kind of been a thing between you and Donald Glover looking alike. Have you yeah, ever yeah, yeah. Heard, heard that comparison? Yeah, I've got that actually my junior year yeah. in high school, <laughs> yeah. And he was doing like comedy and yeah. acting at that time. Yeah, but that was like super, super like early on. But I'm a huge Childish Gambino fan. Yeah. I watch his TV show. I listen to all his music. Yeah, yeah. I'm proud that I look like him. You know? <laughs> Have you ever met him yet? No, I haven't. I always wanted to meet him. And, and now yeah. being in Atlanta, do you do you see yourself being on a show or anything like that? You know, if he did give me the chance and opportunity, yeah. I'll take it, you know? <laughs> I'll take it. Like, I'm not some superstar, you know? I'm not I'm real low-key, but, you know, stuff like that, I don't take for granted. Did, did you hear the shout-out when he shouted you out on the track? Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> my boy actually told me it was on Kauai. Yeah, yeah. One of the albums, and I was like, man, you know, like, he doing that, and he, the, the, the album before that was, yeah. was big, yeah, you know, yeah. because of the internet. So, yeah, it was, it was huge. And, you know, being from Chicago, I don't know if you've been keeping up with the White Sox this past summer, but mm -hmm. Tim Anderson won the uh, batting title. Everything he's kind of yep. standing for to change the culture of baseball. Have you been yeah. keeping up with that? Yeah, and it's unfortunate he wasn't an all-star either. He wasn't mm -hmm. an all-star, right? No, no, he wasn't. Yeah, so, like, he had the average, and, you know, he, he won the title. We just got to get some guys around him yeah, to make, yeah. make the team better. And I'm a real big Tim Anderson fan. I, go, I went to some of the games, and I'm a Sox fan for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah.